afternoon YouTube. JT Serenity Farms prepping here. Let's get right to it. What did we learn from yesterday and what we've heard so far today? We're on our own. There are tens of millions of us ready to do whatever is necessary to save the country. Despite what you hear in the fake news and from the libtard idiot sheeple, we are not outnumbered, not even close, but we are alone. Now when I say we are alone in this, I mean we cannot expect a single politician on the right to be on our side. Yes, there are a handful that I believe we could trust and that will be with us when push comes to shove. But after yesterday and today, I'm not trusting any of them ever again. We know what we have to do. We've known for a while that it would come to this. We have done everything that we possibly could to avoid what is going to have to be done. I cannot find ammo at any store within 40 miles of me, even though some just received shipments yesterday, this morning, they were sold out. These are not libtard idiots buying ammo. There might be a couple, but overwhelming majority is people that are truly woke, that know what's coming. Does that mean that they will do whatever is necessary for us to save the country? No, all of them won't. A lot of them don't see the big picture and they are doing what they think is necessary to save their families, not realizing trying to go it alone isn't going to work. So, we know what has to be done. In the past, we have sat around and waited for someone else to take care of business. We've tried using the system, which we now know is corrupt to the core and is worthless. We've counted on people who begged us for money, pretended they had the same ideology, morals, and ethics as we did, and then once elected, quickly showed they're only in it for the power, control, and wealth. Yet still, we held out hope the system would work as it was designed. Samuel Adams knew way back in the day, 1700s. He said the Constitution only works with a moral people. Our forefathers were wise well beyond their years. How they knew all of this I can only say they had divine intervention. So once again, we know what has to be done. President Trump, I'm making a last ditch effort directly to you, sir. You still have a couple options to get this done. 
I don't want to hear any more talk of D-Class and bombshells. I'm tired of it. I've been hearing it for four years. I trust you, but either drop it or be quiet. I am calling on you to have a nationally televised press conference from the Oval Office. Get yourself a big whiteboard, a big monitor, whatever you need. List the names of every traitor, every corrupt Chai Khan Ohm politician, every treasonous bastard that's involved in the coups. We don't care what political party or who they are any longer. Go right down the list, expose them all for the entire nation to see. We are with you. There will be pain. There will be destruction. There will likely be massive violence. It was coming to that anyway. I'm not calling for it. I don't want it. But we already know how the left reacts. Just do it. You have no choice. If you do the Insurrection Act or martial law, we're still with you. But we're tired of the talk. Lynn Wood, shut up. Drop the D-Class, all the information you say you have, or just go away. I believe you're a patriot, but stop with the talk and drop the information. Sidney Powell, you're a patriot. General Flynn, you're a patriot. Stop with the talk of bombshells and Kraken and D-Class. Just give us the information. We're tired of being led around hoping something's going to happen and nothing does. We bleed red, white, and blue. Our hearts are in this country. We're losing it. You need to act now while we're still with you. Stop the talk. Drop the shit. Show the American people what they're up against and then we'll take care of business. But just stop. We've had enough. We've backed you. Now give us something. Whew. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JT, signing off. Probably be headed for a cold shower too.